Thousands of people descend on the Scottish capital every year for the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. The three-week event in August features music, literature, dance and theater from around the world. To die, to sleep, no more. Despite the global economic downturn, ticket sales to the world's largest open access arts festival have grown 20 percent since 2007. Street performers such as human statue Lord Livingstone say their hats are filling up. I think if people go out to have a good time, often people who are like myself who are street performers may actually do better if there's a recession because people might go, well, you know, I'm not going to buy a, an eight pound ticket to see a show, but I'm happy to put a pound or two pound in a performer's hat. The Fringe started in 1947 when eight theatre companies turned up uninvited to the more conservative Edinburgh International Festival. This year, there will be more than 35,000 performances at the Fringe, 3,000 more than last year. Some city residents are happy about the revenue generated by the festival. All the places get booked, uh, you know, accommodation, transportation, everything is quite booked here this, this time of the year. So. Definitely it's good for Edinburgh, I believe so. Organizers say audiences still come during tough times because they like the lighter aspects of the fringe. Festival officials like arts director Tomek Borkawi say they hope strong ticket sales will help raise the profile of the arts. In Britain, unfortunately, uh, arts is not treated as an industry, is treated as a burden and we try to show to, to the authorities that we are industry, we provide employment for, for a lot of people. With so many performances and tens of thousands of people attending, indeed it could be good news for Edinburgh. Paige Hollick for VOA News, Edinburgh.